All right, here we go. It's finally my no turn No time again to here. question my moves. Jesus, here we go already. I stick to the path that I choose. Joe, don't ruin this for me, please. Joe, in case you couldn't tell, I'm not in the damn mood to deal with your crap today. It's going to be a long episode for me, I can well, tell. It sucks to be you then, Donald, because we about to go get ourselves a motherfucking bar boach, baby. Whatever, Joe, this episode is going to be about me learning to cope with you. I guess this is where that whole character development arc that the viewers have been requesting is going to come into play. Yeah, okay, I literally don't give a shit, Donald. Let me just do an intro without one of you bursting out into song and the other crying about the team composition, please. All right, lay it on us, Barack. Pause. All right, viewers, thanks for tuning in to our President's Play Pokemon Emerald series this week. Last time we defeated Norman, and now it is time for us to proceed the storyline and make our way to Fortree City. Before all that, though, as Joe has alluded to already, we have finally chosen on our run's water type. Joe and Donald fought on Pokemon Showdown this past weekend, and as a result of Joe's victory, we will be going with Wiz Cash. Congratulations, Joe. Thank you, thank you, Obama. Okay, honestly, the part I am most excited for is spinning this wheel. We've had so many great nicknames for both Wiz Cash and Sharpedo, and I'm really looking forward to just giving a shout out to whoever wins. Hopefully it's a good one. Yep, I'm looking forward to that too. Joe, I love making this playthrough as interactive as possible. What do you think, Donald? Okay, but an absolute bullshit victory, by the way. All right. Joe got lucky throughout literally every battle. All the top comments completely agree with me on this Don't one. cry about it, Donnie. A win is a win is a win, and we stay lit, boys. Jesus Christ, Joe, you're not 15 years old. What the hell does that even mean? I'm not sure, honestly. I saw it on some video Holy recently. Holy hell, okay. Can both of you shut up for like two seconds? I can't concentrate on fishing here. Generation 3 fishing mechanics are so stupid it makes me want to grow hair just so I can rip it out of my skull. Massive skill issue, Ooh, Obama. Here it is, guys. I'm so excited for this cute little old gross. Get the fuck away from this gross ass Generation 1 garbage, please, Obama. Chill out, Joe. I've heard Magikarps hold on to grudges for when they evolve into Gyaradoses, so don't let him hear you say that. Yeah, Joe, didn't you ever watch that you don't have enough money to train me video? These bitches come for you in your sleep. Dangerous territory, Dilzan, you might get copyrighted here, be careful. Anyway, this shit is taking forever, viewers, we'll see you in a second. Yeah, I mean, people really like to hate on Boku no Pico, but I honestly think it has a beautiful message about personal growth through adversity and just treasuring the meaningful relationships now, in your life. Now, fucking there it oh, is. Thanks, Christ. I have never been more relieved to see a barboak in my goddamn life. Seriously, Obama, I feel like every time we're obviously cutting out segments from the viewers, you just won't stop talking about these weird ass animes that nobody cares about. Some people care. But whatever, we're back now and we have found the beautiful Barboach at long last. Yeah, keep in mind how Barboach is like the worst Pokemon in the history of Pokemon. And in the wild here, it can be anywhere from level 10 through 30. And this is the garbage that we end up with. Amazing. Yeah, well, honestly, it's not a big deal to just slap the experience share on it for the time being anyway. We'll be doing a good handful of training this episode, so hopefully he'll be gaining at least like 10 levels or so by the time I cut things off for the day. Oh goodness, look how cute he is. I've never actually used a whiz cache, so I'm really excited for this one, guys. Big surprise, Joe likes the underage Pokemon. Anyway, Obama pull up the wheel and explain what's going on, please. All right, yeah, so Dilzan has graciously gone through episodes, like two through nine, and taken all the comments that have a suggested nickname for our potential Barboach or Whizcash and put those on this wheel here. We're gonna do this for our sixth encounter too. So keep suggesting nicknames since we haven't gotten to that one yet. Some names are on here multiple times like Whiskers and Boat or The Sauce and so on because we allowed people to comment on multiple videos. I swear to bird Jesus, if this wheel lands on fucking Whizmer of all things, there's no chance in hell I'm sticking around for the rest of this video. That would be the ultimate slap in the face for losing the Showdown right, series. Shut the hell up, Donald, it's spinning, oh my god. Wow, nice internet, Barack. Blow me, Donald. Whoa, whoa, oh my god, Pringles, that's such a good nickname. It's because Wiz Cash's face looks like that Monopoly-looking guy on the chip cans. Yeah, Joe, you mean the Pringles logo, you idiot? All right, so I got the list here. Shout out to the heavy Kiwi for the nickname. Looks like he commented it a couple times for us throughout the series. Kiwi, thanks so much for the continued support and the wholesome nickname means a lot to us. Let's go check Pringles out, shall we, boys? Hey, Obama, now that we can surf around, don't you think it's worth backtracking a little bit? Technically, Ice Beam and Thunderbolt are available to us now. Oh, that's a good point, Donald. We need Ice Beam on our future whiz cash for sure. Oh, wow, yeah, especially if we're going to be rocking a modest nature. It's plus 
special attack and minus attack, which honestly isn't that bad. Sure, earthquakes are going to be a bit weaker, but surf and ice beam are going to be hitting pretty damn hard, and the latter is incredibly important for both the next gym and many difficult battles down oh the line. Oh my god, wait, can we give Ice Spice a tribute video too? No, Joe, we already played that bit out with the whole Nincata thing. Please just let Ice Spice corrode away in the box with the other Wizmers. Oh man, come on. Viewers, let us know if you want to see a Wiz Mer tribute montage. What? No, do not do that, Joe, you manipulative bitch. Obviously, the viewers want to see us do anything. Don't put this into their hands. Moving on, guys. This segment is meant to be about our newly obtained Pringles, not fucking Ice Spice. Okay, I'm going to give him Surf real quick, just to have it. And then, honestly, I think I ought to go ahead and give Swellow Facade over secret power while I'm here. Yeah, hopefully Barboach grows on me because for now it's still a piece of garbage. Sharpedo just hits so much harder. And come on, we chose a catfish over a shark like really. Pringles is on the team now, Donald. I promise he will grow on you. But yeah, Obama, what are you thinking now? Okay, so thank you, Joe. I think you two made a good point just a minute ago. Since we have access to Surf now, we should probably go get Thunderbolt for Ruby since she doesn't learn it naturally and Ice Beam for Barboach from the abandoned ship next to Duford Town. Thankfully, I know my way around those places pretty well from all the times I played this game when it first came out. Shouldn't take me too long. Then I'll start the trek to Fortree City. How does that sound? Works for me, yeah. Shit cash is gonna need all the help it can get. And since ice and electric coverage is going to be crucial for our next gym battle, I think that's a good plan, Barack. All right, first of all, his name is Wiz Cash, not Shit Cash, Donald. And secondly, yeah, can't Ruby also learn Flamethrower? Don't you think we should grab that from the game corner sometime Actually, soon Joe too? Manectric doesn't get flamethrower or overheat until generation six. I think that was because they wanted to buff the new mega he was getting, if I had to guess. Also, I should probably throw on a repel Ooh, here, that's that I? one secret base I talked about that I like the most. It's the one that says Team Aqua was here or something. Oh yeah, nice Donald, that's a base base for real. Joe, honestly, please stop talking like that. You're like 150 years old. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Stop glazing Oh, Trump. what the hell, useless ass repel. Hey, Obama, you teaching Pringles and Mango those moves earlier reminded me you still have to go get the return TM from Fallibor Town. You want to take care of that this episode, too? Oh, true. Yeah, I need to get that. I might hold off, though, and let one of you guys take care of it when we get the Fly HM out of convenience. And it's not a big deal just yet. I'm going to take care of Thunderbolt and Ice Beam, but I still want to progress the story a bit today. Like, if I can take care of the Weather Institute shit, then I'll be happy with cutting it off there. I thought you said you knew where you were going, Obama. You are stumbling around in this place like a wasted zombie. Ain't no way you just made a Katie fucking Perry reference, Joe. Yeah, Joe, are you having like a late, late life crisis or something? Why the hell are you talking in all this millennial lingo? First of all, Donald, I'm like two years older than you. And Three secondly, years, whatever, actually. guys, I'm just trying to connect to our viewers. They're like 27 years old on average. Learn a little bit about viewer retention rates. You lazy fucks. Whoa, Damn, calm down, Joe. It's hostile, not that Joe. serious. Whatever, screw you guys. Obama, didn't you say you wanted to do a quick shout out somewhat early on in this video or something about those super shits we got recently shits, or whatever Joe? they're called? All right, Joe, thanks for reminding me. Okay, so viewers, quick little note from the editor here. Something you all probably don't realize is that making these videos is not only a time-consuming process, but also more costly than you would think. The AI voice generator actually requires a pretty high-tier subscription to get content out this quickly. And considering Dilzan is still just a student, on top of making these, there are doubts as to whether or not this content can be put out as quickly as you all would like. So we wanted to give a quick special mention to Shake and Baked, as well as Tex Rex, for these considerate donations to the channel. Truthfully, we didn't even really know what super thanks were until partnering with YouTube, and we've never given it any special attention until now. But it's just really cool to see we have this level of support from our fans. We'd hate to directly ask for your support in this way, but we all felt as if you deserve some special recognition for your appreciation of the content. That's all. Well said, Obama. Yeah, viewers alike is all the support we're really asking for, but it's incredible to see how some of you are extending your gratitude in more ways than that. Yeah, hey guys, one quick thing though. Yeah, what's up, Donald? It's five fucking dollars. They Jesus aren't donating Donald. you a goddamn Bitcoin or something. It's the thought that counts you inconsiderate bitch whatever though moving on. We're here with Watson. He just gave us the Thunderbolt TM. And now we gotta teach that to Ruby real quick. It's going over Spark because all the other moves actually have some sort of utility, but Spark is completely outclassed by Thunderbolt. All right, now that we're done with all that, it's time to take on the abandoned ship. 
We'll see you all in Slateport in a second. All right, so let me get some honest opinions from you guys here. Yes, Joe, I do think you're a shit president. All right, noted, Donald, but not my question. I'm wondering, guys, do you think there's actually too much water on this map? Like, does it kill the enjoyment of the region like what some people say? Okay, so I've actually thought about this one a whole lot. I used to think that in the late game specifically, they definitely could have helped direct the player a bit more in the journey after Moss Deep. I feel like they also could have kept Mr. Briney around to sail us around Slateport and Duford if we wanted to be lazy. That being said, the entire plot of the evil teams revolves around the ocean and expanding it or drying it up or something. Like I do think Pokemon took a leap in terms of experimenting with the improved surfing mechanic in Generation 3. So the abundance of water doesn't really bother me too much. Okay, that's a pretty solid viewpoint, Obama. I respect that. What do you think, Donald? Oh, you want to know what I think? I think you should turn on the catch enemy trainer game shark code Jesus Christ, and Donald. go ahead and catch this Carvana and throw away that piece of garbage Pringles and add this guy to our team instead. Donald, you are a begrudging fuck. You need to accept the reality that I beat you fair and square in the series that you completely agreed to. Grow up, little man. Seriously, Donald, just shut up and tell us what you think about the water on this map. 7.8 out of 10, shit map but they completely fixed all the flaws with the next region of Sinnoh. That one is a perfect 10 out of 10, just like my wife. Yeah, I don't know, I'm kind of conflicted on it too. I think it's fine up until the point that you also have to dive around and stuff. Like that's cool and all, but they really felt the need to add a whole nother HM for us to complete the game. Like surf is a good move, sure, but then also uh, waterfall and dive, like who cares about all that? Generation three practically forces us to use an HM Mon for most of the game, and it's really annoying. That's my main gripe with the water. Yeah, I can see that, Joe. Like I said, I've gone back and forth with this issue. Viewers, if you have anything you'd like to add or any points you want to make about that, let us know in the comments. Whatever, let's actually focus on gameplay for once in this series. Obama, I know you have the experience share on Barboach, understandably but we really gotta give Titan some love here too, so he can finally evolve. Ruby is a beast, Mango is a beast. Sky finally has a good move, Pringles licks nuts, and Titan Watch evolves it. at like 32, I think, so he's almost finally there. Yeah, that's honestly kind of one of my goals too, Donald. We already mentioned this, but with Ruby's new Thunderbolt, and when we get a Wiz Cash at level 30, who will be modest with Ice Beam, we will have a pretty massive advantage already against the Flying Gym, but throw in an Evolve Steel Rock type with Rollout, and we will steam roll through her. It might honestly be the first not overly exciting gym battle like everything up until this point. Careful. Barack, I think we all kind of understand that the gym leader battles have been like the best part of the series so far. You might not want to hint at anything like that if you know what's good for the channel. Well, to be fair, Joe, if we let that Altaria get up a single dragon dance, it could still spell disaster for our team with Aerial Ace and Earthquake. And if she paralyzes us with Dragon Breath and we get hacked like I did in that battle against Joe, we are absolutely screwed. Donald, for the love of God, just please let that go. It was like a week ago now. I will not let that go, Obama. That was an act of injustice that I should never have to have experienced. Didn't we decide I got hacked by like a 1 in 415 chance against a goddamn beauty fly of all things like what the hell. Oh, Donald, I know your corrupt ass is not talking about injustice right now. Need I remind you what happened to you like three damn days ago? Don't you say a fucking word, Joe. I'm curious now, Joe. What are you cooking here? He's not cooking shit. It was injustice, and that's that. Oh, yeah, injustice. Yeah, let's talk about that. I think the real injustice is how your ass is facing 90... One criminal counts, yet you showed up to jail and were able to leave on your private plane literally 10 minutes after you stepped foot in the building. You're literally playing a Pokemon game right now, despite being the first former president to have his mugshot taken. Hold that L, bozo. All right, all right, all right, let's not get political here, but Joe, you do make a good point. Since I am now a moderator of this Discord, I actually have the authority to make a few changes. And I feel the need to do one real quick. Uh, Barack, you're playing the game right now. Don't you think you should focus on that before trying to exercise your Discord adminship? Donald, it's literally a children's game. I can just spam A for the next 20 seconds. Let me just do something really quick. Shut the hell up. Jesus, fine, man. All right, now I'm curious, Obama. What are you doing? All right, there we go. I think we're good now. That should pretty much do it. Donald, say something for me, please. What are you talking? Oh, my God, fuck you, man. <laughs> That's a good one, Barry. No, Joe, that is not a good one in the slightest. 
That being said, this is a pretty badass picture of me if I'm being completely honest. Donald, there is no way in hell you actually think your mugshot is a badass picture. Well, sure I do, Obama. Mango said it best on stream a couple weeks back. What the hell is more American than going to jail? The people will simply be forced to vote for me now that I am truly the embodiment of the American dream. All right, let me get this straight, Donald. You're saying that you going to prison will help your case as a candidate because going to prison is part of American culture. Damn straight, Joe. Jesus Christ, this country is absolutely screwed. Because in a twisted way, Donald, you actually have something of a point. Well, Obama, answer me this then. Would you rather have a president who unfairly went to prison for an hour, or a president who sniffs babies at every waking opportunity and has a 30% success rate at climbing flights of stairs? Maybe appeal to the viewers of this video, Donald, would you all rather have a president who sucks at Generation 3 random battles or one who is undefeated in them? Joe, you literally used substitute on a Pokemon at 16% health, you dumbass. Right. Well, both of you shut the hell up before I change the Constitution to allow myself to run for president again just so America doesn't have to deal with either of you. Anyway, I'm getting us back on track with the gameplay here. What do you guys think about the change of the abandoned ship to Seamawville from Emerald to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? Fine, good call, Barack. We're probably losing viewers talking about this shit. Honestly, I think Seamawville was a good change. This abandoned ship didn't really offer too much besides the Ice Beam TM. I think the quest to get the scanner with all the room keys is cool. But coming back to do all that after we get the dive, HM just isn't worth it for the deep sea scale or tooth or whatever. Like, who the hell even cares about the clam pearl line by that point in the game? Might have to agree with Donald on this one for once, Obama. I do think Seamawville was really cool just because of how you can get spirit to him. It was a cool way of introducing a Pokemon you wouldn't think would be available in the game. Nice, yeah, those are honestly some good points, guys. I agree that having to come all the way back here just to get an underwhelming water type is kind of a drag. All right, if I remember correctly up here will be where I can get the storage key. And then I can go right into that last room where Ice Beam is. Yeah, plus another thing on that is, don't you have to trade the Clam Pearl while holding that item to evolve it anyway? Like, who the hell is gonna go through all of that? Like, it's literally less of a hassle to get a Melodic, which is, like, infinitely better than either Huntail or Gore Abyss. Yeah, that's facts, Donald, but still none of them compare to Wizcash. I know that much. L, take Joe. Don't take the bait, Donald, anyway. Looks like I have to clean out the bag a little bit here. When we get back to Slateport, I'll go ahead and sell some stuff, but for now, Joe, I'm throwing away that stupid-ass fluffy tail, and I'll use one of our vitamins on someone. Oh man, but the fluffy tail is so cute, I was going to attach it to the Skitty that we catch for our sixth team member. Viewers, he's lying. I promise Skitty is not the Pokémon that will be joining our team. Yeah, our sixth team member might be a shitty Pokémon, all things considered, but it's not as shitty as Delcaddy. All right, chill out, guys. Too many potential spoilers. I'm just gonna hurry through this place so we can continue on with the story. We've already been recording for like half an hour here. Viewers, we're probably cutting out the remaining battles we have left on this place. Hope you can understand that. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of battles you're still gonna have to get through. If you actually wanna make it through the Weather Institute Barack, you think you can actually do that with just one episode? Yeah, worst comes to worst, we can just cut out more of these stupid battles where literally nothing happens like that one, yeah, Joe. Yeah, plus I'm planning on robbing the shit out of that one guy's berry farm when we get there in a few minutes. Whoa there, Obama, calm down there, buddy. I know this is Hoenn, but you're going a little too primal on us. Ah, good one, Joe. Oh, chill out, Joe. You're literally supposed to do that. Whatever you say, Obama. All right, I think that's going to be the last battle on this boat here as long as I can avoid these last two here. You know, technically Obama, we can also stop by Duford and grab the Sludge Bomb TM2 at this point. Want to stop for that real quick? That's a good point, Donald, but that's another one we don't necessarily need right now, I don't think. I'll just let you or Joe handle that in an upcoming episode when we get the ability to fly. I really want to get on with the story already. Understandable, Obama. I'm guessing I'll be taking care of it at the end of next episode then because I should be able to beat Winona. If not, then Donald can do it when it's his turn. Anyway, look at that, guys. Our beautiful Pringles already has surf and ice beam. Not much else you can ask for. Well, a half-decent special attack stat would be nice, too, but whatever. All right, so a long trek back to Mauville, but we made it, guys. Off-screen, I went ahead and sold some stuff in our inventory to clear up some space. And I also bought a few more repels to get us through the upcoming sections without interruptions. Hell yeah, Barack. Way to plan ahead like a true Digimon master. Oh yeah, right. And George decided to join the call while we were swimming back to Slateport. 
George, I know your ass knows that we are playing Pokemon. I saw you were streaming Fire Red last week. Don't you try to hide it from us. Don't say that Donald, I don't want Kennedy to think I'm a bitch for playing Pokemon, okay? George, first of all, Kennedy has no idea what he's talking about if he thinks Pokemon is for bitches. Secondly, nobody cares about Digimon. And third of all, what the hell? Have you actually been playing through Fire Red without telling us? Yeah, maybe a little bit, Joe. I've been trying to learn more about Pokemon since you guys said I can come in and play sometime in front of the viewers. I just beat the Electric Army guy and now I'm lost in some tunnel. I've been stuck there for like two hours of game time. It's so goddamn dark in there. George, you mean Rock Tunnel? You were supposed to pick up the Flash HM from the aid over on the other side of Diglett Cave. You're gonna be lost in there forever if this is your first time playing through it. Blow me Obama. I don't need some dude with AIDS to flash me. Not at all what I I'll said. I'll just continue to hug the right wall until I'm out of there. I've seen all this before, dude. All right, whatever, guys, look who it is. The damn reporters that I thrashed last time. Joe, time for us to see how shit of a Pokemon this Pringles really is. Donald, just watch as magnitude blows these two shitters into the water next to us. Not gonna happen. All right, let's see what we get, Joe. Okay, magnitude eight, big damage here, maybe kills both of them. Lucky roll, Joe. Wait, can someone fill me in here? Why does Donald hate Pringles? They are delicious. Oh, I'd be happy to fill you in, George. Pause. Yeah, that was sus as hell, Joe. Oh, chill out. You guys know what I meant. Basically, George, Donald sucks at Pokemon. So we went with my pick of the cute little Pringles over his pick of some overrated piranha as our water type. I will have nightmares of that battle for the rest of my life. Joe, please don't joke about post-traumatic stress disorder. Really, Donald, it isn't that serious. At some point, you're going to have to get over this. Anyway, it looks like I've defeated the reporters here and it's gonna be my turn to do a post-game interview. Last time Donald said he was lolling after the battle, let's see how I can describe them. Yeah, make sure to really take your time with a sophisticated interview response. Obama, I'm sure you have plenty of time for this. I sense a little bit of sarcasm, but honestly, I'm kind of intrigued here. Can you call them bitches? But no, George, I cannot call them bitches. I have to choose from a preset list of phrases here. I think I can't actually type anything. But uh, let's see here, I think feelings and uh, yeah, these guys were definitely beat. Wow, that's all you got, Obama? Pretty lame, bro. Seriously, Barack, no one's used the word beat since like 2015, you old fogey. No way, Joe fucking Biden just called me a fogey. This is a new low point in my life. Yeah, what the hell does that even mean? Don't worry about it, fogey. All right, after almost 45 minutes of recording, we are finally allowing ourselves to move on to new territory here. I'm just rearranging the party real quick, and now we can, oh, God damn it, this guy again. Wait, was this motherfucker actually just waiting for us on top of a ledge just so he can jump down on us? Are we literally getting jumped right now? George, I've been saying this the whole goddamn series. This guy is a crack addict, and he's up to no good. We found him sniffing rocks in a cave earlier on, and now he's ambushing us, probably asking for money or some shit. All right, literally none of that is true. Donald, I guarantee you he does not actually do drugs and you are just creating a fictitious narrative to downplay the credibility of anyone you come across out of baseless disdain. What in the, the hell, world? Joe? What? Joe, I think we're all just having a really difficult time believing that you actually just said all those words coherently. Uh, why is that surprising? All right, let's show this part actually because Titan gets Iron Tail here. Another terribly inaccurate move, but at 100 base power, it's technically our strongest move so far. Okay, that's great and all Obama, but hold on just a minute. I would like to revisit something that just happened here now that I'm thinking about it. Joe hasn't stumbled in his rhetoric like at all during this entire series. Is that not setting off any sort of alarms in anyone else's head right Wait now? Wait a second. Yeah, Joe, you can't go through a single speech without having a damn stroke, and you actually just uttered some Harvard-level bullshit and pretended we wouldn't uh, notice. Uh, advertisement here, please, editor. All right, whatever, Joe. It's not like we should actually be complaining about it, I guess. Keep your secrets, then. My thoughts exactly, Donald. Let's just move past that. If I remember correctly, these guys actually have some cool Pokemon that could be troublesome if you are doing a Nuzlocke or something. So, for like the two viewers that are playing along with us, be careful with this one. All right, there's that term Nuzlocke you guys were talking about last time I was here. Have you decided that's what you're gonna do for your next run? Yeah, actually we are leaning towards a Nuzlocke of Platinum right now. No randomizer or anything, just a straight up hardcore Nuzlocke. We're thinking that's best because we can actually do some strategic preparation, unlike in a randomizer and Platinum can honestly be a somewhat difficult game to do in a hardcore way. I think the fans would like to see it. Yeah, and since it's a Nuzlocke, 
we would actually be catching a whole bunch of Pokemon, and because of that, we will go ahead and name everyone we catch after someone in our Discord. We can even incorporate the wheel for that one again, if people like the idea of that. So yeah, make sure to join our Discord. Good call to action, Joe, and yeah, rest in peace, Titan. This is what I was afraid of, honestly, but at least it gives Pringles a chance to come in and do something, I guess. Okay, wait. So if we are naming a Pokemon in a Nuzlocke after someone in our Discord, can we do this Ludwig style and ban the person from the Discord if their Pokemon dies in the run? Oh, hell yeah. That's sick. What the Let's hell, do no that. Donald, no Jesus, no guys, we're not doing that. Why are you all so supportive of that? Oh, don't be such a pussy Obama, that would be hilarious. Comedic, yes, but not only do we not have the large enough support from our fans to do that yet, but that's also just rude. And why should we ban people from our Discord? That's just a stupid idea. All in favor of banning Barack from the Discord for being a wuss? Aye. Aye. Jesus Christ, all right, never mind, assholes. We will revisit the topic. Anyway, let's see if Pringles can clean up yet another kill here. Nope, he sucks ass and now he's dead, shocker. Donald, he's like nine levels lower than the rest of our team, give him a break. Soon enough, he and Titan are going to be the only decently bulky members on the team, and you're gonna to learn to respect that. I'm not respecting shit, Joe, you and I both know that. Also, Obama, you've been using hidden power a lot on these two guys. Have you found out any information about their types yet, based on type effectiveness? Honestly, no, Donald. I feel like they've just been neutral on, like, everything. So I can't really tell yet. I kind of thought Skies was hidden power grass, which would have sucked. But it looks like it isn't since it's neutral to bug. I guess we're just gonna have to wait to test it out on the Keck Leons around Fortry. Makes sense to me, yeah. We haven't recorded in a little while, so I've kind of forgotten them too. I don't blame you. Waiting would be easier, and it's not a big deal just yet. Only a couple types could be helpful to have anyway, like maybe fire or ice coverage could be nice to have. Obama, I know I don't have much Pokemon experience, but I can tell the team is in absolute shambles right now. You better heal them bitches yeah, big up. big facts, George. We'll be right back, guys. All right, here we are, Obama, the Berry Master's Garden. Now it's time for you to act on those urges you talked about earlier, absolutely guilt-free. What Suck are you gonna ass, do? Donald, it's part of the game. Anyway, editor, speed this up for the viewers, please. All right, got all those possibly useless berries. Now time to go make the old man and his wife give me some more. All right, I'm totally lost here, honestly. Are any of these berries actually going to be useful for us, or are we just hoarding things? Jesus Christ, this dude's got berries for days. They have to be useful for something, right? They won't really have any in battle effects for us like all the traditionally useful ones, but technically they may play a role in the future. Just stay Ooh, tuned. Ooh, another Jim. interview. What you got this time, Obama? All right, a barboach, I guess, and then, uh... Good answer! Jesus Christ. Yeah, good answer if is shit is a phrase you can finish it off with. What the hell is a barboach? The devil! Uh, Pringles is a barboach, George. I need to find something good here. Oh, okay, yeah, barboach mood. Yeah, I think that's good. Barboach is definitely a mood right, guys. Hmm, uh, barboach mood. Couldn't have said it any better myself, Obama. I'm glad you understand. Can you hand me that person, Barry, please, Barack? Because I am utterly confused as to why the hell I continue to torture myself by being in the presence of you two. All right, again, cry about it, Donald, but it's time to continue on here. Now we're going to be experiencing an actual change of scenery here. I think one last trainer before we are on to the beautiful Route 119 of Hoenn. Damn straight, Obama, this is a route where many dedicated Pokemon trainers have spent hours of their lives on for the sole reason of getting that godforsaken Phoebus just so they can get melodic. Lots of memories there. I wouldn't mind reliving it honestly. Well, Donald, I, I don't think any of us are gonna stop you if you would like to do that on your own time, but either way, melodic won't be joining the team. We are committing to the Wiz Cash just like we would commit to the Sharpedo had you won that battle. Ooh, I remember these trainers well, too. They all have their own little gimmick where they copy your movement patterns or something. Honestly, this whole route is just trippy. This is actually where I found my first shiny Pokemon, too, believe it or not, guys. Is that so, Joe? What was it? It was just a shiny Zigzagoon in Ruby, which on its own is not a cool shiny nor a cool Pokemon. But the feeling itself of seeing those stars was very memorable, to say the least. Definitely a relatable feeling, Joe. My first shiny was actually an emerald. It was a shiny whalemer I found when I was trying to get a whalerd for the Reggie Trio legendary tasks. What about you, Donald? Fuck both of you and your shinies. I've still Dick. never actually seen a legit one. I've probably encountered like 20,000 Pokemon and I've literally never seen one myself. 
Wait, guys, what exactly do you mean by shiny? Basically, there's a chance a wild Pokemon will have a different color scheme than normal. Wait a second, I forgot what's in this house. Well, uh, okay, fuck that, we're out of there. Great, thank you for the pointless transition, Obama. Anyway, yeah, it's a little more complicated than that, George. Basically, in this generation, there is a one in 8,192 chance that a wild Pokemon you find is shiny. Basically, the color scheme will be anywhere from very slightly different to completely different. It depends on the Pokemon. No other changes besides that, though. It is purely cosmetic, I believe. Wait, what the fuck is that why I ran into an orange Geodude in that one tunnel at the beginning of Fire Red? George, you are trolling me. You did not find a shiny in your first day of playing Pokemon. George, that's actually awesome to hear that you found a shiny. Did you catch it? What did you name it? No, I didn't catch it. I thought it was a bug or something. I just restarted the game. Jesus Christ, Donald, calm down. I hate every single one of you. Maybe let's just change the subject then. How about we all share what our favorite shiny variants are instead of ones we just have experience actually finding? Ooh, that's a good question, Obama. That's a comment question of the day, if I've ever heard one. You guys might make fun of me as usual, but mine is honestly going to have to be Zangoose. Christ, here it we go. It doesn't overwhelm the whole design, but it changes the red stripe to a bright blue, and it just gives it such a sick change in aesthetic, despite only slightly changing it. Honestly, Joe, as much hate as I give you for your Zangoose obsession, that isn't a bad take. Zangoose is shiny, really is top tier, I gotta admit. Generation 3 has some absolute bangers for their shinies. Metagross is sick. Salamence is sick. The Laddie Twins are sick. Septile, Deoxys, say Bly. The list goes on, really. But by far, the hardest shiny of all time is Rayquaza. That fucker is dope as hell in the all black. It takes Charizard's shiny and bumps it up to 11. Jesus, Donald, quite the opinion you have there. Maybe one day you'll find one of those shinies for yourself. Fuck you, George. All right, all right, my turn then. Oh, fuck off, Lydia. We already heard about your poke blocks and shit like two episodes ago. Okay, anyway, my favorite shiny. I think I'm gonna have to show my love for Generation 5 here and say how my favorite shiny is actually Zerua. I think that little touch of bright blue goes super well with the sleek dark brown it turns into from the dark gray. Yeah, Obama can't hate that one. I'm telling you, those bright blue shinies actually hit so damn hard. That they do, Joe. Anyway, yeah, viewers, let us know about your experience with shiny Pokemon. Let us know what your most memorable one was, if you actually got a legitimate one in 8,192 shiny, or what your favorite is. Looking forward to seeing all the responses you guys have for us. All right, all that out of the way. Looks like we're in the final part of the episode here, boys. All these grunts have, like, the same three Pokemon, so none of this is going to be too entertaining, if I'm being completely honest. Hey guys, aren't you gonna ask me about my favorite shiny Pokemon? Oh damn, my bad, George. Yeah, what's your favorite shiny? Yeah, it's gonna have to be Geodude, because I saw one a few days ago despite only having played the game for like an hour. George, I know you're directing that at me to piss me off, and I will personally rip the vocal cords out of your throat if you continue to taunt me like that. All right, all right, all right, let's slow the fuck down, guys. No need to get hostile just because George didn't know what he was doing, Donald. But now he does. I'm sure it won't happen again. Anyway, yeah, all these grunts are just gonna have the same Carvanas and Zubats and Puccinas we see everywhere. So we'll catch up with you all at the admin. All right, finally all these shitters are taken care of. Not a single one survived a single Thunderbolt from Ruby. That move is absolutely overpowered this early on in the game. It really isn't even that early in the game if you ask me, Joe. Like, we are in the mid game now, but I think we are almost even closer to the late game than we are the early game at this point. Next episode, we will probably have the sixth gym badge already. This game really is going quickly. Don't you guys think? Yeah, Donald, I'm going to have to agree with you. That being said, don't forget how brutally long the journey is after we beat Winona. Gyms four, five, and six all kind of happen one after the other, but the seventh gym is like half the map across the way from us. And then the eighth gym is only accessible after the evil teams have successfully fucked over the whole region, and for some reason we have to fix it. And that definitely takes a long time, if I remember correctly. Yeah, fair points, Barack. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like we've barely explored the region. Now, I know what you mean, Joe. Maybe it's because we've had to backtrack so many times already. That being said, we really have covered like half the map by this point. All right, boys, peep this play. I'm going to give Pringles a chance to shine here. He only needs to get like one hit off, and he can kill this mighty Anna himself. Hell yeah, let's go, Barboach. Oh, uh, yeah, no. Obama Pringles is going to die in like 10 seconds, no doubt in my mind. Yeah, it's an underleveled catfish Obama. Nah, he'll be fine. Donald, trust me, he's bulky. Uh, 
Okay, maybe that was a high roll, hopefully. No! Jesus, Joe. Oh, that's my son. That's my boy. All right, calm down, Diggory. It's not that deep. I just wanted to give him a chance. Seriously, Joe, we're coming to the end of the episode. No need to have a heart attack over a Pokemon we can revive in like 30 seconds. Wait, that was actually the boss of this place? She just had another piranha and the same dog we've already seen here? Yes, George, I know, a bit underwhelming, but don't worry about it too much. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed, too, because so far the only important battle I've got to have was the second gym leader, and that was, like, the easiest one we've had up to this point, but that's all right. I'm sure I'll get something fun down the line. All right, you gonna call it a day here, Obama? Yeah, I probably should. We've been recording for a good while now. Viewers, make sure to comment below about your experience with shiny Pokemon. Hopefully it's better than mine. Yes, thank you for reminding them of that, Donald. I'll go ahead and end the rest of it off here, viewers. Thanks so much for making it this far into the episode. We're not one to make excuses for the time it takes to put out these videos, but just know the editor is doing the best he can to get these videos out for you as quick as he can while still upholding a high standard of quality. We hope you can understand that and that you leave a like and a subscription to the channel so you know when the next episode drops. That is especially important now because we are hoping that the next video you see from us will be our biggest hit yet. It will be another special episode. It could be a flop, but it could also be our ticket to expanding the channel more than we've seen thus far. Either way, we're all looking forward to it. Make sure to join the Discord, link in the description, if you want to stay updated on what that upcoming video entails. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Peace out.